Greetings, fellow tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Elden Ring. So, here we are in the Queen's bedchambers. Creeping around. Um, we are going to continue exploring the rest of Lane Dell today. Or at least, we're going to continue exploring more of Lane Dell today. I don't know if we're going to actually explore the rest of it, but we'll give it the good old college try. Okay, so we don't need to go that way, because that was where the things were. Morgoth. You know, that guy. And, um, hmm. So, let's see here. Where do... We need to get down to that area. Hmm. 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 Alright. This looks promising. I don't think I've been here. Well, no, I have. Um, actually... Have I? Yeah, I have. This is where I fought Godfrey. Um... However, there are things here that I did not do. Okay, so we can come up here. Now, how the hell do we get up there? This, uh... I don't think we can make that jump. Well, we must be able to get up onto this branch from somewhere else. Are we sure, actually? Hold on. I feel like that was actually quite close. I don't want to fall down. I don't know how easy it is going to be to get back up here. You know what? I'm sure there's another way. Um, I'm going to look out and around this way. Actually, first off, I'm going to look out and around this way. This will lead us to... Well, actually, another roof. But this is just where the dead uh, finger reader crones were. But presumably all been killed by a black knife assassin which is still of interest to me to why that occurred is this Ronnie's doing don't know could be I almost said this seems like it's beyond her scope but actually no I, I don't think this is beyond attacking somebody uh, within the very like royal palace I don't think that's beyond Ronnie's scope in fact she killed Godwin who we don't know where she killed Godwin exactly. I wonder if we're going to actually find where that was. Okay, this is kind of cool. Yeah, alright. That'll get us up to there. But let's first grab this. Are there any enemies up here? Doesn't look like it. You a trap? No. Bird tree bow. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Let's see. Bird tree bow. Longbow featuring Erdtree styling. In times of old, when faith and battle went hand in hand, this weapon was created in tandem with the golden arrow. It scales all arrow damage with faith, revealing its true worth when used with holy infused arrows. Nice. Pretty cool. Okay, that's where we get to that item. But there's... Ooh. Okay, we got a Celestial Dew. I'm gonna go down that ladder, don't you worry. First, I want to get this item in the floating chair. Can we just grab it? We can. Okay. It's a dead... Hold on. What are you? Uh... Okay. This might be interesting. Golden Order Principia. Key item. Um, hmm. Prayer Book of the Golden Order Fundamentalists, a dense and complex academic treatise that contains the Order's fundamental principles, can be given to a learned cleric to gain access to the following incantation, Radigan's Rings of Light and Law of Regression. Okay, I mean, we know Radigan's tied with the Golden Order very extensively, possibly as much as Marika is... <laughs> 
We still don't know much about Radigan. All right, let's go down. Uh, oh, it's a kick, kick down ladder. Okay. Um, all right. Shortcut activated to something. Question is to what? This is the... Yeah, the Godfrey fight room. Okay. So, um... I don't think I... Did I come this way? Yeah, I think I actually did, because I came up through here. I'm still trying to get down there, because there is a wall and a crucible knight. Um... Now, I must wonder if this is survivable. This is a survivable fall to get onto this roof. We're gonna give it a, uh, an attempt here with the rainbow stones. See if they shatter. Oh, alright. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm gonna quickly equip the, uh, the cat talisman again. That's the centipede talisman. Centipedes, cats! Ah, what's the difference, really? Um, okay. Here we are. So, that's where we were looking at this. Speaking of Radigan, that's a statue of Radigan right there, if I've ever seen one. Remember at the start of the campaign, I thought this was the smith, though interesting that he has golden hair. Why is it golden hair? And this symbol, this, like, grid. Um, was it you, Knuspa Brat, who pointed out that that's actually very similar to the symbol on the seals guarding Rhea Lucaria's gate? I mean, it would make sense. Radigan was tied in with Rhea Lucaria. Um, so... I mean, he, he married Renala for a while. Okay, well, we found our way down here, at least, so... That's cool. Huh. There's a note. I wonder if this note's gonna tell us anything. About Radigan. Regression alone reveals secrets. Well, we got that... Um... Incantation. Law of Regression. So I wonder if we need to use that. Or if there's gonna be like a regression gesture or something. I, I don't know what regression is yet. I mean, regression is... Obviously, um, something that declines, right? Regresses. The fuck does this lead? Go up. Checking for hidden stuff? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, now where are we? We're on this, uh, overlook. That's cool. On a stair that leads hold on did we just go right back to where we were <laughs> yes and no mostly yes you know I bet that um, I bet that elevator didn't work alright this is good we can get back here easily then a little bit of a shortcut for, uh, when we have to fight that Crucible Knight. Because I know there's one around here. We saw it. I think he's on the other end of that. Yeah, he should be basically along this road. But first... Anything going on here? No way to interact with it. So I'm guessing we're going to need that, um, the Law of Regression spell... Okay, we have a perfumer. We've got several perfumers. They have Erd Steel Daggers, by the way. This is, uh, interesting. I still really want their helmet. Their hood, I guess. Because it looks cool. Oh, it's a scarab. Oh, you guys. Where do you come from? Where do you go? Got an eye, Joe. I'm gonna come up this way, right? I'm gonna come back, I hope. Before the, uh, Crucible Knight comes back, maybe? Yeah, it's coming back. Or at least it's doing something up there. 
No, it's going to come from another direction. Isn't it? Fuck. Alright, I have to fight the Crucible Knight. Ah, the Crucible Knight poke. Ow. That was not a poke, that was a whack. Heal, now? Okay, good. I like it when it does that move. Alright, that wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Um, interesting that one didn't drop anything, so I reckon that one might actually respawn. We're getting into the level of respawning Crucible Knights, maybe. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so it's just dicking around up here. Here, have the, have the Frenzy. You didn't get him. Fuck. Where's he now? Oh, he's up there now. Oh, we got him. Alright. We get Barrier of Gold. Um, that should be an incantation. Imagine. Yeah, here we are. One of the incantations of Erdtree Worship greatly increases magic damage negation for the caster and nearby allies. This incantation was used by the champions of the Erdtree in the First and Second Lyurnian Wars, during which the red-haired Radigan joined the hero's ranks. I mean, we know Radigan fought in the Lyurnian Wars, but... I mean, he must have fought on the side of the Erdtree. So wait, did he fight against... Man, what happened in Lyurnia? So, you had the Carrion royal family, right? They were... Oh! I think I understand, because it was always Radigan came from a different land, right? Radigan invaded Lyurnia. And I always kind of assumed that he came from beyond the lands between, but what if he actually just came, straight up came from the fucking, uh, Landell? And invaded Lyurnia that way? Because Landell would call that the Lyurnian Wars, probably, because they were fighting against Lyurnia, whereas in Lyurnia, that would be known as, like, a foreign invasion. So Radigan joined the war, and eventually the houses, basically the houses of the, uh, the Erdtree and the Moon were conjoined when Radigan married Renala and thus ended the war, at least temporarily, because um, at some point he left Renala. And after he left Renala, the um, Carrion royal family was more or less toppled. Renala was more or less locked into her little uh, chamber up in Rhea Lucaria because they were basically overthrown by. Rhea Lucaria and its Knights of the Cuckoo, who more or less toppled the Carrion royal family. At least that's what I got out of it. Alright, now what? We're, we're aimlessly wandering around. Same statues you find in Round Table Hold. I guess that makes sense. I'm still interested in the significance of them, but they're very similar to the ones in Round Table Hold, I should say. Um, considering Round Table Hold is based off of the architecture of Lane Dell, that makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. There's nothing else, uh, nothing else here, unless... Unless there's a place that we can drop down to that we haven't gotten to yet. I'm gonna look, see, look for items on the rooftops as I walk past this. There is the, the big old metal lightning spear that we could drop to, but... Not from here. I think that's too high. Right? Too high up for that? Actually, I'm not sure. We might be able to survive that. Let's give the uh, good old uh, test here. See if that's livable. I think that's not. It doesn't look livable. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, okay, it is. All right. Um, cool. Hold well on. That is a golden item right there. That's cool. Let's go. So, first we need to check what kind of dangers we may face here. I know those fucking archers. The boy 
do I look forward to... Yeah, look, there's that guy right there. Um, I, I don't really want to engage him in a fight, though, because he'll just fucking destroy us. We can drop down onto this. Oh, I see you. I see you there. Don't think that I don't. That guy doesn't seem to see me. I'll run up and grab it. What? Bolt of Grand Sacks. Is there anything else? Can we go farther? I don't think so. I think that's as far as we can go up that. Um, that's interesting. Bolt of Grand Sacks. What the hell was it? Was it a spear? Or is it like a, uh... I think it's a, a weapon, right? Okay, stop it. You guys better not fucking come here. Okay. One of them sees me, but they don't. It's good, because if that one sees me, I have a problem. Um... looking. I, I didn't look and see what it was. Could be a key item. But I want to say it's probably a weapon. Yeah, here it is. Bolt of Grand Sacks. Oh, that's... Whoa. Okay, that's literally what this thing is. Spear whittled from the weapon wielded by Grand Sacks, one of the legendary ar ar armaments. The great ancient dragon, Grand Sax, once rained calamity upon the royal capital, the only time in historical record that Laindell's walls have fallen. This marked the dawn of the war against the ancient dragons. Well, okay. That explains what this fucking thing is, and that explains who that corpse is. So he, he was killed. And his petrified corpse is now looming over Laindell. Wow. Alright, so we just got this spear. Pretty fucking wild. Alright, we get the stone sword key, and uh, where do we go now? Drop down, I guess. Nothing better to do here. Okay, what was this place? We've been here, right? Perfumer gloves. Hey, and it's one of you! Ah, the mighty R1 poke! Oops. Just want to make sure that I have explored everything around here. Um, now, I am reasonably confident... No, we don't need to go there anymore. Been there. That we've hit up most of the stuff in Landell. Now, I'm sure I've missed something. And I will come back to explore more. I should have dealt with these in an intelligent manner instead of in the stupid manner that I'm trying to do it now. Well, mistakes were made. Whoops. That's going to get me killed at some point. I'm sure of it. Ow. Why? Yeah, I interrupted you. What now? Ow. Ow. Kill. Alright, who the fuck? It's another one. You know what? It's pretty effective. Okay. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. So we go through here, and this indeed leads us into the round table hold area. We have been there. We've explored the other side as well. We go in there? I think so. Yeah, we must have gone in there. Tell you what, I think... 
think I'm gonna move on from Landell. I may come back if uh, y'all tell me I've missed something. Just tell me around which uh, side of grace I should look. And uh, I will come back, of course. We're gonna head on to uh, the area that has the red marker on it. And presumably, the way down. Do you have anything new to say? No. Oh, I see. Uh, please. Do you have any adjustments for uh, Margot? Ready to make adjust. I mean, Morgoth's cape. Oh, this that this does. Ah, huh. interesting. The altered hat. I wonder. No, it doesn't say anything new. Interesting though. And this, just a oh festive uh, hood like that. That's kind of cool. No, and this is all just, like, remove capes and stuff. Same. Okay. Oh. Nah. Alrighty, then. So, we need to find our way down. Along here. Here, uh... of white flesh. I mean, it makes sense. They're pale as fuck, but normally you find that on, like, cephalopods. Or, uh, crabs. Which really kind of indicates that these things are not human, and never were. I mean, they don't look human, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they weren't human at some point. Where am I going? What is this place, again? Was there someone in here? Yes. You jerks. Alright. We need to go downstairs anyway, so that's why I'm approaching it from uh, down here. Ow. Want more lore on these? They're so strange. We need to go further down, or can I drop down from here? I think I can drop down from here and then make my way up that way. That's where I need to go, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, right, there's fucking imps here. God damn it. Now, was that a makeable jump? Let's find out. It's not! It was a lie. Alright, it's fine. Go away, I'm not interested. Get. No, it's fine, it's fine. That's enough of that. Thank you very much. All right. That's enough of their nonsense. Let's go through here. So, this was a fun place. I remember there were like millions of, uh, yeah, misbegotten. Right. Hello. And did we need to go up? I think so. Remember, this was the very first place we came to. Right. So there's the the perfumer that's like chilling out with Misbegotten. 
I really feel like we're the bad guys with slaughtering when we slaughter the perfumers because they seem like they're really nice. Um, that that's that's alive, right? Ow! He hit me with his face. Oh, let's kill him. We'll slaughter them in their sleep. Damn. He hard countered my R1 poke. I don't know what to do if that happens. I'm just... I'm at a loss. Right. So they're worshipping something. We still don't know what that is. Um... I feel like we're going in the right direction, but maybe I do need to kill them? Oh, right. There's one of you guys here. Um... Tell you what. I mean, he's walking towards me menacingly. So I'm gonna menacingly laser him. Yeah. Nice try. And then I'm gonna R1 poke him. It was super effective. Yeah, look, I don't wanna do this. All right, but you guys leave me no choice. Oh, Christ. Seems as if we've drawn their attention. But it's all fine. <laughs> oh, direct hit. All right, you. He's got a bubble. He's got the bubble. All right, down he goes. But you got the bubble, too. Cheaters. I want the bubble. Alright, jerks. Ow, ow, ow! It's not nice. It's rude. Don't bubble him again. Down he goes. Alright, if you're gonna walk towards me like that, I'm gonna laser you too. Okay, I'll burst your bubble. Yeah, too slow. Sorry, guys. I was willing to just walk past you. But you guys chose violence, and for that, regrettably, uh, you're dead. Alright, you guys, uh, you guys keep praying to your gravestones. So. Still praying to your gravestones? Good, good. I know that's where we need to go. The lift. Alright, fuck it, let's go. So yeah, it's one of these to another giant bridge. So there was indeed this large bridge. Yeah. Let's... Okay. I remember there's one more thing we need to do. Um, and that is follow the painting that we got in the last episode and find out where the hell that is. But we're going to get a sight of Grace along this direction first past uh, presumably whatever we're going to fight here. I, I imagine there's going to be something to fight here. Cool. The rolled route. So we're going to find a bridge, right? Or one of these divine lifts. Tree looked suspicious. That was the type of tree that Bach was that one time. And um, now it's interesting. I've, I didn't notice this at all during my first playthrough. But the demi-humans that ambush you that seem to just like poof out of nowhere. They're often disguised as trees that look exactly like that. Is uh, kind of funny. So I poked it, in case it was a demi-human. Oh, you're gonna try and R1 poke me, huh? Well, unfortunately for you, I'm the master of the R1 poke. I always give an extra one, just to be sure. Uh-oh. I, I cannot horsey. Can I horsey now? I still can't horsey. What is this madness? You're making me fight a mounted person on foot? Joke's on you! Spears are great for anti-cavalry purposes. Actually, they fucking are. Jesus. Get wrecked. Yeah, so if you ever find yourself on a medieval battlefield, 
and you find yourself riding a horse. Don't charge into Spearman. It, it doesn't go well. Fascinate him. Alright, 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 alright. Perfect. I still can't mount up. What else are we going to find here? I hear a scarab. Don't see it, though. But it must be up here. Ha 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 ha. I just want to get the Sight of Grace, then we're going to go back, because I actually think I know what we need to do with some of the... What, what, why can't I target you? Okay, I could. That was just weird. What's this guy's deal? Why does he look different? He's still not dead. This is bullshit! Now I'm generally confused. I couldn't target him. Alright. That was strange. That was very strange. We've never done that before. Or at least not that I've noticed. Let's look at where we are. We'll be looking down over. Ah. Gray, apparently. Alright, what's gonna be in here? Predict it's gonna be something friendly. It's usually something friendly. And now, unfortunately, the one friendly, one of the friendly faces that, you know, we used to maybe expect in places, I don't think she likes us anymore. Oh god. This is a boss arena. Almost certain. Although, it would be a long run to get to a boss if this was a boss arena. No, it's the lift. This is the lift. That is the lift platform. Before we go onto the lift platform, I want to go this way. There's a whole other bridge leading to what now? Another divine tower? Damn, looks cool. Looks very cool with the, the statues in the fog. Uh... Um, uh, what? Okay. I, I see something. Moon nine. Whoa. Bell twin? Excuse me. Don't like this at all. No, don't make me fight omens. I don't like omens. Alright, I can summon, right? I can. And I'm gonna, because I hate these guys. Alright, Taiki? I know you're overpowered, but I don't give a shit. I hate these enemies. I really do. All right, and then um, then we're gonna eat a crab, okay? Go over here. Chug. Brutal. Okay. The the there being no ground is very disorienting. Now, I'm more familiar with these movesets, so not as bad. And besides, Taiki just completely invalidates the other one. I, I see why she's very good. She's taken no damage. And just seems to completely be occupying the other one. And, you know, dishing out a reasonable amount of hurt. Alright, one down. This is one of the worst ones, because he's got the horns. We're gonna give him the frenzy treatment. Alright, he's here. Here, have some of this. Uh, and he's dead. Okay. Omen Killer Rollo. Alright. Now what? Okay, we, we leave. That was... Freaky. Why did it go dark? Why are they called the fell... Nice. Nicely done, game. Nicely done. 
Okay, Omen Killer Rollo. You are a legendary summon. Oh. Spirit of Rollo, known to be the first Omen Killer, once a famous perfumer, Rollo imbibed a physic to rid himself of emotion, thus enabling him to enact his nightmarish labor, hunting the Omen. So, whereas many perfumers seem to care for and treat the misbegotten and or the omen of their accursed afflictions. Seems like some of them are of a very different mindset. Um, we got, could do more vigor, but I don't know. I feel like I have enough. Well, mm, yeah, I got enough. We'll do more faith. More dex? More dex is going to get us a lot more damage, actually. Let's get more dex. All right. Well, we've got this Divine Tower of East Altus. Oh, so there's two Divine Towers in Altus. Interesting. Hmm. Can we ascend it? We can. Well, let's do it. First, we're going to check to see if there's anything to do beneath, but I don't think there is. I think this is a normal one. Unlike the Tower of, uh, Kaled. Which is all broken and decrepit. Just like the rest of Kaled. So, we ascend. Higher and higher. Cool. What are we going to find up here? Another dead two fingers or something else? Seems like there are interesting things to be found in most of these. We're very high up. Everything's super foggy. Can't see much. We're basically in the clouds. That's just a dead two fingers. And a sight of grace. Another one. Well, let's, let's activate it. What's this one called? This is called the Divine Tower of East Altus. That's, ah, just... The gate. Okay. Restore Great Rune of Power. Oh, I must have been restoring uh, Morgoth's Great Rune. Okay. What does it do? What's the lore on it? Greatly raises maximum HP. Ah. Okay. That's cool. A great rune of the Shardbearer Morgoth. So he was a Shardbearer. Yeah, of course. I mean, we got a shard off of him. That would imply that he was a Shardbearer. Um, this great rune is an anchor ring that houses the base and proves two things. That the Omen King was born of the Golden Lineage and that he was indeed the Lord of Laindel. Right. So, yeah, there was a comment saying that the Omen King was not the King of Omens, but rather a king that happened to be an Omen. This, uh, yeah, I didn't have anything to, like, really confirm that, but yeah. So this basically just flat out states that. That he was the king of Laindel and born to the royal lineage. So, born to one of the, the demigods? Possibly even from Marika directly? I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't assume Marika directly. What are we looking at here? Damn, that's Stormvale Castle! Shit, we're looking, like, across the entire... <laughs> this is nuts. Alright, um... Now, the unfortunate problem is, is there is a long way to get back. Um, which I could do immediately, or I could actually do the thing that I wanted to do. Uh, which involves not being here, but rather going somewhere else entirely. Fuck, there's no Sight of Grace here. Well, that makes things kind of annoying. I need to get here. Can I get here from the uh, Erdtree Sanctuary? Because we need to talk to uh, Goldmask. I think this, like, when we found divine tomes that we can give to people, we've been giving them to Corin. But I think Corin's story basically just serves as an introduction to Goldmask's story. And we know Goldmask is one of the super important tarnished. So... 
I'm assuming that we're going to be able to uh, give them to Gold Mask at some point. That Gold Mask is going to end up being our like main teacher for further incantations. Not that we particularly care for his style of incantations, but you know. Um, hmm. down here. It'd be fine, right? Yeah. Nice dodge. Alright, so we'll be fighting another one of these gladiators. I wonder if you can get their gear. I bet you can. That helmet, getting like a Mermillo helmet, that'd be pretty cool. I was already committed. This is dangerous. Alright. Alright. That's enough of you. I could run past him, but on the off chance they drop gear, uh, I want to actually kill them. Hi! He missed, for some reason. Interestingly. No, why am I doing that? Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to press the other button. There we go. Just like that. What you doing? Nice. Bike Spear is a good weapon. I will say. Like... The Ash of War is pretty good. It's got great AoE. It's, I, I wouldn't say it's as good as, like, um, the, the Halo Scythe. That has an amazing Ash of War. Can't trust these fuckers. Thus, they must all die. I don't care if they might be sleeping. Alright. You have anything new to say? Oh. Was that you? Yes, the master is still ceased. And after coming all this way, why now, of all times? I don't know, man. About the noble gold mask. Who exactly was Radigan? Yeah. The master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. But, oh, how important could it really be? I think it's quite. The Erd tree. Heart of the Golden Order lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? We were on the very cusp. So, we can give the Golden Order Principia. This is a volume of incantation. It's good to see your enthusiasm. Indeed, I will happily take it off your hands. Hold on. Actually, before we do anything... Nope, still... Still pointing. I, I have an idea, actually. Yes? No? Okay. Did you need something else? Yeah, because we're going to give you the Two Fingers that prayer book. Is a work of heresy. Wait, what? Its incantations bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. It's from the I Two Fingers. afford to maintain my innocence any longer. I must dirty my hands to test my faith. That's the spirit. Even if it offers only the most meager of hints. I will do whatever I can to help my master. Who exactly? Yeah. Okay, stumped. still, still the same. Uh... But he, uh, why we were on the? All right, why, why would that be a heretical incantation if it's from the two fingers? The two fingers is associated with the greater will, which is associated with the golden order, which is associated with the Erd tree. I'm confused. 
Incantation bestowed by the two fingers upon the Tarnish deemed worthy of becoming a lord, Lord's Heal. Heals a massive amount of HP for the caster and nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and act and, and delay activation. Tarnished. Oh, Tarnished. Seek the Earth Tree and stand before Marika, its queen. Become the Elden Lord. Right. Why is this heretical? Unless the two fingers and the Earth Tree have parted ways at some point. Incantation bestowed by the two fingers. No, or was the... Shit, I don't remember which one he said that to. It may have been to this one. The Law of Regression and Radigan's Rings of Light. Actually, that might be it. Anyways, Lord's Aid. Incantation bestowed by the two fingers upon the tarnished. Deemed worthy of becoming a lord. Uh, okay. Doesn't say anything else. Lord's Aid. I'm, I'm, I'm buying them all. So we have Radigan's Rings of Light. One of the incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalists. A gift of gratitude to the young Mikola from his father Radigan. Right. Mikola and Melania are the children of Radigan and Marika. Gift of gratitude to the young Mikola from his father Radigan. Produces a golden ring of light and fires it across a wide area. Charging enhances range. And yet the young Mikola abandoned fundamentalism. For it could do nothing to treat Melania's accursed rot. This was the beginning of unalloyed gold. The Mikola parted ways with the Golden Order. And he started growing a Halig tree. Very interesting. Unalloyed gold. He's trying to treat Melania's accursed rot. Remember the golden needle that we got? To treat um, that Gowry basically had us find. Well, we found it, and then Gowry was like, hey, it's that thing. Um, after he was like, I'm a centipede. Um, the needle that we used to treat Millicent was unalloyed, right? Or was it alloyed? Maybe it was alloyed. But interesting, I, I distinctly remember it was either alloyed or unalloyed. I can't remember which one, but very distinct that it is gold. And then with that word involved, because that links it to Mikola, who is trying to treat Scarlet Rot, which of course, Millicent has the Scarlet Rot. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Law of Regression. Heals all negative statuses, dispels special effects, and reveals mimicry in all its forms. The fundamentalists describe the Golden Order through the powers of regression and causality. Regression is the pole of meaning. That all things yearn eternally to converge. Right. Which ties in with the flame of chaos. All things emerged from one. Thus they are continually being pulled back to that one. Because they were not supposed to really be pulled from one thing. So chaos. The flame of frenzy is... ultimate regression. Well, and it's like... The regression is part of the Golden Order. Damn, that's almost like the, the Three Fingers and the Flame of Chaos are part of the Golden Order. They're just... a piece of it that... I don't know. I guess it's like... It's like Satan being part of Christianity, you know? Like... Christianity created Satan. God created Satan according to Christian mythology. But it's just like the, the antithesis. So the regression must be the antithesis. I would assume. I'm going to buy it because that's what the one we need. Unfortunately, I can't use it. What do we need to use it? We need more faith, right? Um, a 37 int. No faith whatsoever. What the fuck? That is an int incantation. Radigan's Rings of Light. Int and Faith. What the fuck? Very strange. Did you need something else? Um, hmm. Nothing new. Damn, I cannot use it. That makes me kind of sad. So there must be a gesture. Something. 
Maybe it's something we haven't found yet. To use that. Cause, hmm. Any, any gestures associated with regression? We have inner order. No. It's dejection. That's not the same thing. There must be a regression gesture, because I don't think they would gate something behind using an ability. I don't think they've done that before. Alright, um, so we need to go back to the gate of the Divine Tower then, because I don't think there's much more I can do here with that. Do I have 37 int? I don't know when I'm going to get myself 37 int. Can I please mount? Oh my god. Oh. What's, what's that? Cool. Well... Let's go this way. While we're going this way, I'm going to check to see how long the recording is. 51 minutes. Okay. I'm, I guess we're just going to quickly go on because I need to leave soon in any case. But yeah, this is uh, interesting stuff with Radigan. Very enigmatic. Currently, I mean, America is still very enigmatic, but... I feel like Radigan's even more enigmatic. So, interesting with this... This is clearly the lift. Um, the lift of rolled. But it's not bringing us up, it's bringing us down. Let's see where this takes us. And once it takes us to where it's going to take us, that's where we're going to end the episode. Hopefully there will be a sight of grace and not another boss fight, because... Right. Uh. Oh, 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 I fucking saw that. I don't think for a second that I didn't. Right. Here, right? Yes. Yes, good. Official's attire. Hmm. Blade of Calling. What does this lead out to? Interesting. Nothing else? What a strange place to have an office. I really hope I can drop back down. Let's look at the official's attire really quick. Grubby blue robe worn by magisterial officials to carry out their grim tasks. Surveillance, executions, gruesome rituals, the darkest duties drive the wheels of mankind. Huh. Note, House Marai. Yeah. The sons of House Marai are all sickly born. Little wonder that Male Marai would be so beguiled by the beautiful and fierce goddess who was born into rot. Okay, that doesn't tell us any connections to the... Being a magisterial... A member of this uh, magisterial office. Um, and it's clear there's a connection here. Uh, yeah, there's a connection here too. Like, the sleeves are very similar. This one has a fancy mantle over it. And it's green as opposed to blue. So it's probably not the same, but it is very distinct. Okay, no, this is just an upper class robe. But it is obviously derived from the upper class robe. Interesting, though. And the House Marai symbol is... Or the House Marai is obviously associated with the, magisteri uh, the magisterial office. We have the Blade of Calling. Very cool looking. Dagger given to one who set out on a journey to fulfill her duty long ago. Power of its former owner. Kindling Maiden. Is still apparent. One who walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. It's a reference. Melina.
This is the weapon she was using. She's the Kindling Maiden. That's what I'm assuming. She wanted to light the fire. Burn the Erd Tree. Did she want to burn herself? To burn the Erd Tree? Or does she just light the Kindling? This... I feel like this room is actually hugely important. And this area is going to be very important. I'm just really checking for hidden walls. Uh... Alright. Um, can we bring the lift back down? Fuck, it's foggy here. Can. What is out here? Ooh. Okay, well, we have a sight of grace. I'm gonna bring the lift back down. This is interesting with the red. This place looks fucking cool. Forbidden lands. Hell yes. I'm excited. Alright. I think we just stumbled onto some big lore implications. With Melina. That that was the sword she was using. The ability that the sword had is very similar to the um, ability that the... Well, let me show you. I think I can use it, right? Yeah, I totally can. Okay. Um, switch this out here. So, this is the... Destined Death... What's it called? Fuck. Very annoying that you can't look at it like that. Um, Blade of Death. Blade of Gold. They look the fucking same. Like, the, the curvature of the blade, obviously, this has been augmented. Same move, but different. And this is what Melina was using in the fight against Morgoth. This is Melina's dagger. Looks cool. Alright guys, big lore implications. Not sure what to make of them yet. I hope we're going to find more in the Forbidden Lands. Uh, anything called the Forbidden Lands is bound to... Uh, yield something interesting, and uh, this place looks fucking awesome, so uh, I'm excited for the next episode, which will probably come out tomorrow. Alright guys, leave it a like if you have enjoyed it, and uh, thanks once again to everybody that is watching and everybody that has been leaving comments. They are a joy to read. Alright everybody, Ash Herriter out.